State funeral will be held in Victoria to celebrate the life of Australian music legend Olivia Newton-John. Julia Bradley has the details from Melbourne. Victoria's Premier Daniel Andrews has confirmed the family of Australian music icon Olivia Newton-John have accepted his offer of a state funeral. Discussions are now underway on how to best structure the ceremony. The Premier says the service will be more of a concert, allowing family, friends and fans to celebrate her life and music. This I think will be much more of a concert than a funeral. It'll be an appropriate celebration of such a rich and generous life. A date is yet to be set, but possible venues could include the MCG, Sydney Meyer Music Bowl, John Kane Arena or Marvel Stadium. Back in the day, I was a DJ and I can tell you the, uh, the, the tunes that I played most regularly were, um, were, were, were ones from Olivia Newton-John and Greece. So that's my memory. Everyone has a memory. Uh, she was a great advocate for so many things. The Opera House was bathed pink on Wednesday night to recognise Olivia Newton-John's incredible legacy, including her contribution to cancer research and awareness. Other landmarks in Victoria have also been lit up pink. The iconic Grease star died peacefully at the age of 73 at her home in Southern California on Monday morning, surrounded by her family and friends. Since then, there have been many tributes, one of the most touching coming from her husband of 14 years, John Easterling, who took to her Instagram page to call her a healer and the most courageous woman he's ever known.